Hey guys, uh, in this video, I'm gonna go over some uh, keyword strategies to help you scale your Amazon uh, KDP campaigns for, and especially in time for uh, Q4, where you're gonna see a lot more sales coming in. So the idea is to uh, harvest the keywords now, find all the keywords that are profitable, and uh, really scale those uh, in the coming months. So the way that I categorize the different keywords uh, is uh, into a few buckets. Uh, and one of it will be core, another one will be broad, another one I guess kind of related to broad is also the uh, long tail keywords. So let's start with the core first. So the core keywords are the keywords that are directly relevant uh, for your product and ideally are the ones that actually convert for your product. Initially, you won't know whether they convert or not, so we'll just go with the ones that are super relevant. Uh, and then you can start cutting those out as, um, as you see that uh, they're not converting. Uh, so to give you an example, let's say that, uh, so I already started doing this. So let's say that you're selling coloring books and let's say that, um, that uh, you're doing a low content coloring book and you know what, let's actually just use coloring book and we'll get the keywords for this. All right, so let's say you're running coloring books. Obviously co the phrase coloring books is gonna be, uh, can be one of your core phrase. You'll see that when I type in uh, coloring books into the Helium 10 Magna tool, uh, I'll get uh, six and a half thousand different keywords. And you'll see that uh, it brings keywords that are um, like uh, relevant, but also some ones that may not be uh, as relevant, uh, like this one, you fucking got this. So uh, what we can do just to make it easier uh, is we'll put in, um, we'll make sure that all of the keywords actually have the words uh, coloring book in it. And then we'll so sort it by search volume and uh, you'll see here that actually uh, adult coloring book apparently gets more searches. And uh, you'll see also that, so now we're here and now it's 180,000 keyword searches a month. And you'll see that uh, right before Christmas is when you get a massive spike. And I'd say that this spike is even understating what really goes on uh, because typically during Christmas, uh, or at least during the December period, you can see you know 5x more uh, sales than you usually would. So anyway, uh, so this is adult coloring book and this gets a ton of searches. We don't know whether or not this, we don't know whether or not uh, this actually converts or not, but whenever you get this many, uh, whenever you have this many, uh, this much search volume, then uh, it's quite likely to be competitive and you should do a search on Amazon just to see what your competition looks like. Um, we know for sure that uh, there's um, a lot of competing products, but we don't know how competitive it is in terms of uh, the number of people who are running um, paid ads and, you know, and how much they're bidding for it. So what we can do is we can just put it into uh, Amazon and then we can get an idea of where the bids start from. So you see that exact is 35 cent, phrase is 51 and uh, broad is uh, 72. These are the sort of um, ones that are suggested uh, and usually it's somewhere in the middle. But uh, this doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna um, get to the top of the page. This can be pretty far down. So uh, the only way to know where it's gonna get you positioned is actually to start bidding on it. Um, and when you do have a keyword phrase that has such a huge amount um, of searches, uh, then what you uh, can do is uh, the same thing that uh, we spoke about on my last video, which is to break out the campaign. So uh, that gives you uh, a lot more control, especially if, um, if it's a profitable keyword. So let's say that, for example, and I've seen this happen a lot, uh, which is that, uh, you know, like phrase match might actually do better than exact match, even though you might think it'd be the other way around. Uh, and if that's the case, then you can have one campaign which is specifically de dedicated to coloring book phrase match, and then one ad group, and then one keyword, uh, one keyword phrase, which is um, adult coloring book. And then you can have the bid specifically set at, so let's say that uh, it's suggested at 51 cents, let's say you get no impressions, you take it up to a dollar, uh, you still get no impressions, you take it up to $1.50, and then you start getting impressions, and then you start, uh, 
uh, getting clicks and everything, and then you start saying, okay, so um, you know, it converts at this much, at $1.50, and then you start bringing it down again, and so on and so forth, and eventually through this adjustment process, you will find, uh, hopefully, uh, an ACOS that works for you. And uh, what you might find is that with the hyper-competitive um, keywords, uh, that um, you might have to bid more, uh, which is why these campaigns are really good. Um, so, uh, so I'm not saying that, you know, like with, with the hyper competitive keywords that you shouldn't, um, bid on them, but you should definitely, you should definitely give them a try. Uh, I'm saying that you should, uh, have cast a wider net so that you have, um, you have some, of, uh, you have something from all the different buckets. So if you can get, uh, the high volume keywords to convert, that's great. Then you should break it out as I, uh, talk about here. And for, uh, for the rest of the core keywords, you can, through this research process, you can find other ones that might be um, still relevant, but, but has uh, sl uh, slightly lower, or well, much lower uh, keyword volumes, um, but the bid price might be much less, and they might convert much better. And that's the thing I forgot to mention for something that's um, so broad, like coloring book, is that the conversion rates usually aren't great, um, they might be, but uh, maybe it's uh, maybe it's not right. Whereas with the with the much more specific uh, keywords, they're more likely to convert better, uh, and especially if the keywords are very um, specific to your book. So, uh, so if we try this one instead, let's see what the bids look like. All right, so you see that the bid prices are uh, at least the suggested ones um, are much lower than these ones, and it's much more specific. So if you actually have these kinds of uh, coloring books, then uh, you're gonna convert much better on, uh, on these specific keywords. So that's for, um, that's for the, so that's for the core campaign. So the core campaign is this one here. And what you wanna do is you wanna, you wanna think about all the different uh, sorts of keywords that um, would be relevant uh, for you, uh, and if you don't have any sales data uh, or any keyword data to begin with, then this is where uh, I would start, would be looking at the most relevant keywords and then putting them all into what you think would be your um, primary uh, core campaign, and then taking out the ones that, or reducing the bids on the one that doesn't work. So let's say for uh, the most competitive ones that we're talking about, so let's say for the adult coloring book, uh, let's say the conversion rate is not great. Let's say that um, let's say that you're bidding, you know, uh, eighty cents, and uh, and you're getting a cost of eighty percent. And then you find that if you reduce it to 0.4 to forty cents, uh, you might not get any sales at all. But then if you have it somewhere in between, so let's say sixty, and then maybe it gets you to just you know break even or something like that. So it does need some playing around, and changing the bids does dramatically change where on the page you appear, and that can dramatically change how many clicks you get and your conversion rates and everything else. So it's not something that uh, you change in a vacuum. It does change uh, things in a pretty big way. But if you get something that's such a high um, volume keyword to work for you, then it definitely makes sense to break it out like this and to, um, and to, uh, have, um, uh, and to adjust the bids to make sure that uh, you're running these campaigns profitably so that when Q4 comes along, then you know that a keyword like this does exceptionally well and, uh, and, that, um, and then you be able to control this campaign uh, so that if, um, you know, if costs goes up a lot, uh, or if you need to scale it, if you want to scale it in a really big way, you've got this granular control over, uh, over this campaign. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll cover the uh, broad and the long tail keywords in a separate video. Uh, this one is more just to cover the, um, the keywords that you think are core for you.